Francia. For everyone who is new to this channel, I make videos about Vietnamese culture, Vietnamese food, overseas Filipino worker lifestyles, apartment hunting, and all my misfortunes here in Vietnam. Today is January and year of the tiger. And speaking of New Year, Vietnam will celebrate its annual Tet holiday. So, and what is Tet, you ask? So, Tet is celebrated to welcome Lunar New Year. It is considered as the most important celebration in Vietnam. So, if you are a tourist slash a future tourist, maybe next year, maybe this year, if you are up for that celebration, you are okay with celebrating with this tons of people. It is the perfect time to visit Vietnam but if you want a more relaxed visit you might want to take note of that and avoid those dates. It is usually happening on the last week of January until the first week of February and with that celebration it is also a perfect holiday to wear an Aoyai or Aozai. I'm sure I'm not correctly pronouncing it but basically it's a traditional Vietnamese dress. Of course I want to wear one for this coming tent so for today that is my mission an Aoyai hunting type of vlog. I will be using the accent Aoyai for the sake that I am here in the south. Oh my god, I didn't say this but for everyone who is new to this channel, I am here in Ho Chi Minh City. I am a 3D artist. I have been working here in Saigon for almost three years now. It's gonna be three years. But anyway, let's go back to Aoyai. It is widely used by Vietnamese people during weddings, during even at schools, etc, etc. Special events. And what I like about it is that it is accessible for all, for all ages, for women, for men, or for kids, even for foreigners. So you are very much welcome to wear one. If you are gonna be visiting Vietnam, if you are here for tourism, I highly recommend you guys to try one. Or if you are a Vietnamese, you already know about this, that everyone is welcome to wear one. So where am I be getting an Oya? There are multiple options to get one. If you want to get it as a souvenir, you can buy a ready-to-wear Aoyai. And these shops are also offering tailor-made Aoyais. And another option is by renting, which is I'm gonna be doing today. As I told you, I already have my own Aoyai, so I don't really need a souvenir anymore. If you want to know more about Aoyai, or if you are a foreigner who's looking for a perfect Aoyai, or if you are a local or a Vietnamese also looking for an Aoyai for a special occasion, this video is for you. Okay, so don't get too excited, y'all, guys. Here are some reminders. Here are my guidelines before jumping into finding an Aoyai. So firstly, research the design that you want. Will it be plain? Will it be floral? A design with pattern? Do you want a bright color or do you want pastel? Aoyai has a wide range of designs, so you might want to settle on that first. Next one is deciding also the style. Do you want it long sleeves? There are also three fourths. You also see yourself wearing a skirt or you want a long pants. And thirdly is to know your body measurements, specifically your bust, your waist, and um, your height also. Fourth one is if you want an accessory like a headdress. So here are some options like the nonla, a headband, this one is the one that I am curious about and there are many more options and another accessories would be bags like you might want to take note the shoes and bags that you already have if you're buying another accessory it's up to you and my last tip is very specific to girls it's up to you guys boys if you want to take this tip I highly suggest to wear a tight fitted undergarments because you know it's it's tight, to be honest. <laughs> it's gonna embrace your body. You'll know when you wear one. Okay, so a bonus tip, guys, is also wear the shoes that you'll be wearing if you already have one. I highly suggest at least two to three inches of heels. So you might also want to wear that when fitting. So that's the five tips. It's gonna save you time and it's gonna save you troubling Vietnamese people. Anyway, I already researched the perfect shop for me. Its name is Aoyai Han. Okay, so I think I have covered everything. I am perspiring it. We gotta hit the road, guys. Editing Anna, let us go. <laughs>
Aau guys. I already picked but it turns out I have to look for myself or I don't know if they will help me. Already chose 5 OEIs. I'm gonna fit them now. Okay, welcome to an OEI fitting session with me. So let's start this OEI session with a bang. A fiery red peacock designed OEI. Red color is also used for wedding ceremonies by bride and the grooms. If you are a guest, better choose a different color if you are attending one. Red OEI is worn during Tet for luck and prosperity. If you want to be lucky for the whole year, this OEI is for you. Let's just say you can never go wrong with red. Ho ho ho! If you are up for a bolder design, this mandala slash a red-ish aoyai is your choice. I mean, look! Look at that! Look at this fabric! This is not your typical aoyai. And wait for it! I've got a ribbon! Oh yeah! She is thriving! The epitome of modern art meets classic traditional Vietnamese dress. Surely, this aoyai will turn some heads with its unique prints and patterns. Do we need to talk about how fit and how this Aoyai makes me think that I urgently need hitting the gym next week? This pastel pink Aoyai with koi fish and purple lotus flower is a symbol for strength and growth. You can also use a nonla, a traditional Vietnamese hat. Color indicates age and status. Lighter color means youthfulness and purity. While married women usually wear richer and darker color. This Aoyai is slightly small for my preference. Piece of advice, choose an Aoyai that that is comfortable and makes you confident. Alrighty, if this blue Aoyai is not screaming Lazada for you, well, you haven't tried online shopping in Asia. If you are not used to wearing long sleeves, give it a go for this three force Aoyai. But the fun is not stopping there. You can change the pants into skirt. If you want a more girly vibes, check the Aoyai's dominant colors. From there, you can decide the color that you can use for your pants. With this outfit, I use the golden color. This becomes a totally new outfit. Something out from a feminine hygiene commercial. This outfit will perfectly match your taste. Okay, this is the last Oyai, and I must tell you that the gold patterns in this bright yellow Oyai means long life and double happiness. So this Oyai is a bit loose on my waist, but no need to worry guys since Oyai shops can fix this. If you want an accent, you can match any Oyai with a headband. Now that completes a Vietnamese dress there, makes the outfit interesting and reflects the symbol for happiness. So I just got back from Ao Yai Han. It looks easy when you squeeze a 2-hour fitting session into a few minutes of edit. I will message Ao Yai Han for the next coming days. I am still actually undecided with all the signs, with all the colors. I am so overwhelmed. After all that struggles, after all that perspiring moment, or which Ao Yai did you like? Or which Aoyai do you like me to wear this coming tent? And if you'll buy one for yourself, what things do you want to consider? Will it be the color? Will it be the design? Do you want a fit Aoyai or do you want a loose one? If you are here in Vietnam, if you'll be visiting Vietnam, I highly suggest that you try wearing one. Did I miss anything about Aoyai? What's special about it? If you are a Vietnamese, if you know anything, any information, fun fact about Aoyai, let us know guys in the comment section. We would love to know about that. I hope this video helped you decide on choosing your future Aoyai for your next travel, for your next event, for your next visit. Which Aoyai did you like for me for this coming tip? I will be waiting for your thoughts guys. And I will also let you know which one I picked on the next coming videos. 
And if you want to see more of these videos, please hit that subscribe button so you will be notified on my next upload. And I will see you on my next special tip video. Bye!